I've never had a more difficult time trying to find marijuana. Hi, I'm a college professor and I'm looking for some marijuana. Yeah, that's actually true. Today I am looking for some marijuana, but it's probably not what you think. I'm running a GIS and remote sensing course. I'm online right now. I'm in Google Earth and a bunch of satellite uh, image systems, and I'm trying to find any kinds of fields of marijuana for the purposes of showing my students the different spectral reflectance values of plants. If you manipulate the different bands of light that are bouncing off plants, the infrared light is strongly reflected by them. I'm trying to show this, but I'm sure the Drug Enforcement Agency in the United States is having fun and probably tracking me and recording this as we speak, because I definitely just hit into Google marijuana crops and I'm searching marijuana plantations in Mexico and all this other stuff, and then I'm immediately jumping onto like a NASA website to access satellite data. But rest assured, it is for academic purposes exclusively. What can I say? As far as marijuana is concerned, students pay attention to marijuana. You gotta work with what people know. And I should say it's quickly becoming a very, very big business that does over a billion dollars in revenue every year in the United States. So I think it's probably time to start talking about it in the educational setting. Well, I guess this is as good of a place to start as any. Uh, maybe that's not the best search option. Now what I'm looking for here is, there's all these images here, I'll click on some of the images, and these are basically all sorts of stuff, but I'm looking for like overhead satellite imagery. Marijuana field coordinates. It's 2015 and I know that with the development of medical marijuana and the boom in the marijuana industry right now, somebody has to have large fields within the United States that they're legally growing and that's what I'm trying to find, an outdoor large marijuana field that I can go in and get satellite imagery from. Now the actual photo I find might not have it, but I can go into Landsat or some other satellite platform and I can find through the coordinates what I need from there. So I've been zooming around in Google and trying to find anything I can, and it's becoming a little bit of a challenge. There's lots of people who have pictures of marijuana fields from, from in the air, which is good. That's what I need. I need coordinates. I need to know where these things are, not like I'm going to go there and take it and smoke it or whatever. Huge outdoor marijuana plantation near Baja, Mexico. CNN gave some of the information on where it was located, but it's such a huge area, I can't find it. This is the, the area I was able to, after about five minutes of searching through articles, I was able to find out it's this area of Mexico. This is such a huge area, and I don't even know, maybe Google or maybe the US government said, okay, get that off of there. Okay, two problems. A lot of the imagery doesn't even have any coordinates or doesn't, it, it's very vague in where, the, where it's located. I understand why. The second problem is this, that the medical marijuana industry really started booming maybe about, I'm gonna guess 2002. And a lot of the pictures in Google are not from 2002, they're a little earlier. Google Earth will show me many places throughout the United States that has medical marijuana for sale or hemp goods or things like that, but I wanna know where these places are growing their marijuana. I am using this for the most academic and legal purpose and I just can't find any of the information I need. So I pretty much give up. I have been looking, trying to just get an aerial photo of an outdoor marijuana field. Despite the increasing legality of it in the United States, I could not find a single, not even a coordinate for a marijuana field. I've never had a more difficult time trying to find marijuana. And I'm not even looking for it to smoke. I also think it's funny that I read the largest marijuana plantation they found in Baja, Mexico. What did they do with it all once they found it? They lit it on fire. I don't know, lighting marijuana on fire to dispose of it just seems counterintuitive. The residents of that town must have been extremely high for weeks. So I'm over the marijuana thing. I'm gonna try and find any other information I can on wheat or soybeans or corn or something. And hopefully there will be no issues finding satellite imagery of these types of fields.